Hi everybody, this is Carl from Tenon.io. I want to give you guys a, a glimpse into a brand new feature that we have, uh, and that is called Site Monitors. So what you see here right now is uh, the Tenon dashboard. This is obviously a brand new account on the Tenon dashboard. Uh, and so one of the first things I want to do is I need to set up a special project just for my site monitor. And so I'm going to create a new project. Uh, I go here. And if you don't know how to do this, uh, I definitely recommend um, going ahead and reviewing the other videos that we have on the on the site. Uh, so I'm gonna call this my website. Uh, I'm gonna call this my website again. Uh, no URLs because that'll be automatically added. So none of these things need to be uh, modified. Obviously, modify your API settings as you see fit. Uh, and then click submit project. Now you have a bucket to store results in. So now I'm going to go over here to profile. Now under my profile we'll see uh, a new little block area here. It says my monitored sites. Obviously there's going to be no records found if we don't have any yet. I click come over here, hit uh, add a new site. And when I get to uh, add a new site monitor, I'm going to hit uh, just to give this a name of some kind. Again, I can just give this uh, uh, my website. Uh, then I'm going to add the URL to it, http www.carlgroves.com. And then uh, whatever the project is. So uh, I have to choose from one of my projects, and this is going to go into the my website project. And when I've done that, uh, I have everything I need to do in order to set this up. I hit Submit Site. And when I hit my uh, Submit Site, now I get this, uh, this new table here. It has my monitored sites. And there's a code snippet here. This is, uh, this, is a, this is the part where we get to add this to our site, just like Google um, Analytics. So I'm going to copy this uh, code snippet. And uh, so I copied it. Now I'm going to go over to... Uh, IntelliJ. This is in, this is my WordPress website, uh, CarlGroves.com, and uh, this is I've already opened the footer.php file from my template because I'm going to add this to the bottom of every uh, page of my site. Just like I said, just like Google Analytics. So I'm going to paste that there. But I'm not done, uh, and here's why I'm not done. It's extremely important. That you uh, that you take advantage of some of the other parameters available for the site monitor, and one of the really important ones is called hash from. Hash from is going to be any anything that you can put in uh, like a CSS3 style selector or something that is available to you from uh, query selector all or something like that. In my case, I'm going to add. Uh, let's see what's on my site. I think it's going to be content. So the uh, pound sign content, just like, again, just like a CSS selector, this is going to say, uh, basically, it's going to hash from that, from that uh, piece of content. Here's why this is really important. Um, what happens is, Tenon, the site monitor is going to be uh, triggered every time somebody views a page on your site. Now, if you have a really popular site, that's, that's going to be a lot of traffic, and we definitely don't want to test every single time somebody visits one of your pages. So what happens is we're going to create a hash of a specific part of your page and if that hash changes then that means that we think that your page has changed. So in other words in in my case if I go back over here and I go to carlgroves.com uh, what's going to happen is when that page loads for me if I go over here to DevTools uh, and I see, uh, actually, that I should have changed that to container. Anyway, this is the main content of my of my site here, uh, and so anytime any of that content changes, uh, then it's going to get retested. So let me change this over here to container. Um, but this is something that's really important to keep in mind is that if you have a lot of stuff that changes with JavaScript, uh, it could be anything. For instance, um, um, uh, the, the carousels or any of that sort of stuff. The hash is going to look different to Tenon all the time. And so if the hash looks different 
each time that the site uh, that the, the page gets tested or gets visited, then what's going to happen is you're going to trigger a retest of that page. It's going to eat up your API calls very quickly if you do it that way. If you if you don't use a ha a, a good hash from um, uh, uh, selector. So bigger websites, uh, websites that change a lot, websites that have A-B testing, that sort of thing, they probably won't benefit from this feature as well if they were, uh, unless they were to figure out a, uh, you know, a good selector to use there. So another thing that you can do also is there's another parameter called interval. Interval is going to be the number of minutes that you want to wait before you uh, before you test something again. Uh, so here's a great way to figure that out. This will take anything that you can put in JavaScript. So we can do uh, seven times twenty four times sixty. In other words. Uh, there's there's seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour. What's going to happen here is that this is only going to test once a week. At the absolute most, it will only test that page once a week. It'll test it once every time it gets visited. So let's say you have 500 pages on your site. Obviously, the first time any of those 500 pages gets touched by a visitor, um, then it will uh, then it, it'll test at that time. And then now I forced it to not test, but once a week, no matter how many times that page gets visited. Anyway, so that's the site monitor snippet right there. Like I said, extremely powerful uh, feature. It'll test anytime the page changes. Um, if you leave hash from out, it'll use the entire page content. That's definitely going to be something that you don't want to do if you have lots of dynamic content on your page. Uh, and so the interval is the other really heavy-handed but good way to, to do that. So uh, so if once you have that in your page, then you just upload it to your site and it'll begin testing. So that's it for the crash course in the site monitor. Any questions, uh, email us at to us at tenon.io.